Hello everyone, Josh first back again bringing you guys some more Shining Beyond and today we're going to be having a nice discussion video going over some major changes that I feel that this game needs to at least consider and possibly even do because if you guys know 2020 has been a crazy year, it's been a very hectic year, a lot of you know things have happened that were completely out of your control, uh, a lot of things that happened that you wish didn't, um, you know just bad circumstances that we found ourselves in uh because of a pandemic because of other things we've had a presidential election if you are of course over here in america for example hell that election's even affected countries outside of america it's just been a very hectic year and it's not been a great year for gotcha games as well as a lot of you know um there's been some games that i've played personally this year uh like um hero kantari which is a very good game, but they took a dark path. Obviously, that game just kind of imploded on itself. Uh, Goddess of Genesis, which was a very beautifully and well-crafted game, but they failed to listen to their entire player base, including the European player base, uh, which, you know, obviously did not help with the fact that they had no players really at the get-go. So, there was no expansion, no growth. Game has not really done well since. And then, we come to uh, the game such as Shining Beyond, where you know it's it's a hit or miss game you're not really sure what to expect from it it is an idol slash gotcha but if you actually play the game you'll notice that it's more uh gotcha than idol because the shard system you rely on it so much so you need to keep summoning you need to keep pulling dupes um and you also need that to fulfill your daily ssr ticket requirement if you choose to do so because of how many dupes you do need to progress and build up your characters and promote them, etc., etc., so you can get through story. So this game, I would say, arguably is more gotcha than it is idle. Um, so there's that. So with all that said, all that information taken into account, we need to address some of the things that I feel that this game needs to take on before it's too late. Now, this game already has a very small player base. And before haters come out, it's like, oh, this game's player base is doing fine. No, it's not. Um, I'm a numbers guy. I've always been a numbers guy. I look at the information. I look at the data, the app data from various third-party sources, including Google themselves and the iOS store. The numbers are not that great. They're not that impressive in comparison to many other gotcha games that release on average throughout a year. Now, as a lot of you know, Gotchas don't make it very far beyond the three to six month mark before a lot of their players will leave and jump to another one if it's not invigorating, innovative, and something that's captivating their attention to keep them wanting to come back for more. You know, like games like Dragon Ball Legends, Dokkan Battle, Fate Grand Order, um, Fa Grand Blue Fantasy, if you're over there across the ocean there and you've been playing that game for the past five six years uh don't know why they never came to global but anyways that's neither here nor there you get the idea there's a select few games out there that really can stand the test of time oh even summoner's war if you want to throw that into the mix as well and then there's a second tier of games like breach uh <laughs> breach bleach brave souls um Dissidia, Final Fantasy, you have some of those games that'll last, you know, they're, they're on that like third, fourth, going into maybe their fifth year now, and then you have a third tier, which have lasted, you know, two or three years, going into their fourth year, like uh, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links, and then you have a tier below that, that are entering like into year one or two, celebrating their first or second anniversary, with a still, you know, pretty loyal fan base, but then you have under that, you know, that 95 to 90% every other gotcha in existence that doesn't even make it to its first year. Games like Black Clover that are shutting down this month didn't even make it to its first year anniversary. We talked about ga that game when we started it uh, quite a while back in 2020. Another game that just uh, did not do so well this year, among many others. So, you guys are getting the idea. You, you see there's like a tiering for all these games and some of them ones that were successful made changes they saw the light on the other side of the tunnel or at the end of the tunnel rather and they're like okay we need to go ahead fix what's broken fix whatever's wrong make some changes even if they're not financially um you know pleasuring i guess you could say changes to the company in the long term it'll make sense and it'll work and then they'll thrive from it because they'll have more players, which of course can become more potential spenders. So when you take 
into all that I'll take all that into account you have some things uh, with shining beyond that we're gonna go over right now that I feel really are some changes that would put the game in a better light which would hopefully potentially increase their player base numbers and allow the game to actually make it to its first year anniversary and onwards and make it to where I actually have viewers watching me play the game and talk about the game because it has players that are playing the game. See, the problem that people don't understand with me, for example, covering a game on YouTube is there's no point covering a game on YouTube if it has no players because if it has no players, there's no viewers. No viewers why waste the time and effort making videos for just a select two three four hundred hardcore people when there's other great games that are constantly coming out that you also want to try that might you know do things right or better than the previous game so you got to take all that into account from a youtuber standpoint a player standpoint a business standpoint and just you know combine it all into an overall scope of how the game is being handled and how people are perceiving it so i know that was a lot of information to throw at a lot of you but i just wanted to give you guys a clear idea of why we're going to be going over the things we're going to be going over and why i feel that they would be a step in the right direction opposed to just completely not listening to your player base and the game flopping because that is a very real thing that could happen that is a big thing that happens in a gotcha game that is a very real reality so hopefully we're not going down that road i've said that a few times already this year but a lot of these companies af you know company after company they come and they go they do the same thing and i don't know i'm gonna keep saying it and so hopefully one game company comes through but we'll see maybe it's shiny beyond's developers who knows but let me go ahead and explain some of the things that i think they should fix and then you guys and gals in the comment section below can let me know what you think about my changes and if you would change them as well but maybe with your own spin on it or maybe there's things that i didn't even cover that you'd like to be changed as well now i'm not gonna be able to hit every single point because the video would be like an hour two three hours long because there's a lot of different things that i feel that could you know change up and make it feel a lot more fresh a lot more innovative and bring more people in and keep them in but we're gonna be going over some of my top priorities that you know that just come to mind right off the bat so let's go ahead and get starry started sorry if i could talk today my goodness it's sunday i'm sorry it was football day you know <laughs> but anyway so one of the biggest things right off the bat that drives me up the wall is the daily ssr ticket that change that they've done from beta testing was very bad now a lot of people's like oh but if everyone could just get ssr tickets every day i mean the game would be so boring you'd run out of stuff to do that is so incorrect it's not even funny because here's the thing the game progression system is so complex that just getting the dupes is not enough you need several upon several other resources to get your characters built up not only do you need job relics you need to be certain level requirements which requires your main account level to be a certain level requirement which requires you to do a lot of farming or a lot of idling which is going to take you days and weeks and months to accomplish and then on top of that you're also going to need the shards to of course promote those characters and then you're going to need gear on top of gear on top of gear dupes are a very big thing in this game this game could be called dupes beyond because you need dozens and dozens of dupes to finish off gear to finish off characters and that's after months if not a year plus of work but is a majority of the player base going to stick with the game for that long to even see their just one character fully done i don't know and at this time i really honestly don't think so because in beta those players were showered with uh, showered with rewards for three straight months and then to allow that server to become server one on your global release was a big oof moment because what happened was those players basically got their global release three months before the actual global release because since they were showered with all the rewards they now have a massive jump start 
on the current actual global release, the technical global release. And even if their server was nerfed to the point like global server, which is server 2, it doesn't matter. They already got that massive jumpstart. So now they already have access to a lot of those good resources because they were able to move so fluently far ahead free to play. But now if you come up to current point in release, free to plays do not have that luxury. They're starting from the bottom and they're being pushed down very hard because those resources that the global the, the the beta players got to you know freely obtain are not there so you're not going to be hitting that one million you know battle power team free to play in one or two months it's not going to happen you're going to be struggling trying to get through heroic story as a free to play in your first month month and a half maybe even two months so you're not going to be getting access to a lot of those high-end idol rewards, those high-end rewards from Towers, from Spiral, because you're going to be sitting there still struggling to work on your four or five characters. And they're not even going to be close to done free-to-play. It's not going to happen. And one of those things that the beta players got to enjoy for three straight months that global players will not is the daily SSR ticket. So if we go down here to the Hero Forge and look at the SSR ticket, you're thinking, ah, 500 gems is not that bad. Wrong. Very wrong. You are dead wrong. Okay? You're so wrong, you're actually going backwards. Okay? Because here's the thing. 600. I repeat. 600 SR shards are required every single day. If you want to use this ticket every day of the week even if you only do this three or four times a week that is still 600 four star sr shards every single time you want to pop this ticket on top of 500 gems that is beyond expensive and if you're trying to use these tickets for valiance it's a five to one ratio that means ouch you're getting what 30 shards for 150 from a duped SSR, that's it. If you use them for a normal SSR, that's 50 shards for 150. Maybe you'll get super lucky and the ticket will be one of the SSR dupes that you want. So you're getting the full 150, but you will not ever get a Valiant from it. So that's not going to help you in that regard. And what the and a big problem is when you get to like Legendary Story, Two of the better characters in the game to help you even get through Legendary are Valiants. Lucille, Kane, um, just oof. And there's even arguments to be made now that Freya is also a very beastly character later on down the road, even if you already have Athena built up. And that's another Valiant. And then you got Shizu, who's a really amazing rogue uh, with the dodge mechanic that she has. You know, those are Valiant heroes. So you're talking about a 5 to 1 ratio that you can't even get from these tickets. So you have to build up normal SSRs, but you have to pay 500 gems and 600 shards. The beta players had to pay 150,000 gold. That is much more manageable, uh, cost efficient, and all that other good stuff uh, weekly than it is 500 gems per day. Because that's pretty much taking all your daily gems and then some... And then 600 shards, which you're not going to get easily unless you summon. But how are you going to summon as you're, if you're a free-to-play if all your gems are going into these tickets? It's not feasible. Because eventually you will hit, you will hit a wall in story. And as a free-to-play, you're going to hit a wall in story quite often. So your progress is going to be stunted a lot. You're going to hit a lot of walls a lot of times for a lot of for a long time. There we go. <laughs> so this ticket is not going to be substantial this is not going to be sufficient you're not going to be able to use this and utilize this weekly it's just not going to happen it's not going to work long term this ticket will crush you as a free to play if you try to keep getting it over and over and over again not to mention that the multi summons in this game are much more valuable especially on the featured banners because you have to fill up that pity so you can get to your Valiant pulls. So you can get that full 150 shards out of it. And you want to be able to get your Valiant Knights. Which are very, very, very limited right now. Especially if you're free to play. Because 
you're going to need those to get your job relics early on to progress. Otherwise, you're going to get stuck even more. And you're going to need those to get your uh, job class orbs, which you're going to need to try and break through seven stars. Um, that I, you know, I explained that in my video, I believe a day or ago, a day or two ago. So summoning is more efficient than trying to get that daily ticket because the daily ticket is just too dang expensive. The 600 shards are alone are too much and then throw 500 gems on top of that. And it's overkill. Now, if this was a normal gotcha and you only needed five or six dupes to finish off a character then then i'm fine paying that hefty price for an ssr ticket because you don't need as many dupes but in this game where you need dozens and dozens of dupes it's overkill it's beyond overkill that's how you take a free-to-play player base and then tell them get out we only want whales you can't do that now there's also another mode in this game um called co-op but a lot of you won't even know it exists because it's really only useful on dash five of story chapters but here's the kicker if you actually go to it it'll charge your teammates stamina that is not how a co-op system should work at all so if you go to a dash five and you go to co-op and by the way sometimes co-op yep you'll get an error for co-op so sometimes co-op doesn't even want to work if it doesn't load up then i'll just i'll just you know give you a brief description i think it might load this time or we might crash okay there we go so you see co-op you get that five co-op energy per day that's nice we showed you how to utilize that to get some value nights as a free to play to make a seven star we did that video yesterday or the day before that's all well and good but your co-op mode should not be useful for solo gameplay because then what the hell is co-op good for if you're only using it for single player gameplay just think about what i just said guys co-op is good for solo what question marks everywhere okay and if you want your friends to come and join you on co-op guess what they had they have to have already gotten to that point in story otherwise they can't join you so again what's the point of co-op you're, you, these dash five stages you really don't need to go back and clear a second time outside of doing your grand trial and by then why would your friends want to spend stamina full price stamina to join a room that they already beat by themselves bro bro i don't even know i could spend three four hours just complaining about that fact alone that whole concept is stupid I'm sorry, but that's stupid. Who thought, who cleared that? Who thought that was a good idea? Let's make a co-op mode that's completely unco -opable. There's no point. <laughs> There's no point in cooperation in this game for anything. It's just a terrible mode. It needs to just either be completely re removed or, or fixed and made useful. And I'm sorry, but that was one of the biggest selling points for me. I found out the game had co-op. And then when I found out how bad co-op was, it really just hit me hard. Like, oh, man, that stinks. That's such a bad mode. That's the worst co-op I've ever seen in a gotcha game. It's bad co-op, guys. I can't let it slide. It's supposed to be a selling point for the game. And instead, it's a hindrance. Or hindrance. It, it's, a, it's a negative. It's a reason to not want to play because I was looking forward to co-op and yet I find out it's that bad. If you're going to make a co-op, make the co-op innovative. Make it actually feel like I'm working with other players to accomplish something. There is none of that involved in this game's co-op. So hopefully they can improve on that, improve on the daily gem, uh, gem I'm sorry, the gem price for tickets maybe push that back to gold um there's also a resource problem stamina potions are very hard to come by early game which is the most ludicrous thing i've ever heard i've never played a game where exp potions were hard to come by and the game really limits you to four to five characters when you get like 30 40 right off the bat because of all the useful srs and rares you're going to have and all the different ssrs they're just going to sit there in your box and collect space for a while 
So that's just some things I wanted to talk about. I could maybe I might make a part two talking about other problems in the game, which there are plenty of. But I just feel like the game's too restricted right now. And by the way, guys, the featured banners don't even have a raid up percentage. Please give us raid up percentages. And one last thing as well. The daily free summon, make that go towards your pity. Okay? I mean, Jesus. But anyways, I'm going to talk to you guys in the next one. Let me know what you guys think about this and more. If you have any other problems with the game or changes that you'd like to be made, let me know in the comment section below. Subscribe, check notifications, and talk to you guys in the next one. Until then, peace.